Good morning, guys. Uh, we will be looking into the topic called what is packaging and why do we need it and how is it currently being used in the production. Okay. So when the machine is switching on, let me give you a small example of what is okay. application packaging. Okay. So, so application packaging is a development process to design an app or to design an EXC or MSI to install onto the operating system in a way that it does not deteriorate what is spelling deteriorate okay the os okay after an installation of the app so that means when we install app what are we doing we are making changes to the operating system now when you make a changes to an os obviously what are we doing we are adding registry we are adding files we are adding what else um, shortcuts now when you are trying to remove this okay what should have what what happens is it should not remove any os related files registries or shortcut or any other application related files registries or shortcuts so the how it how the machine state should be left so after installing the packaged application and then uninstalling the same packaged application should not affect the health of the OS. This is one scenario. Next is you need to install and uninstall the app silently without any user interaction. Now, what did Microsoft do is to, to, you know, to basically to come up with all these scenarios, they introduced a technology called Windows Installer Technology. Now, how old is this technology? This technology is about 25 years old. Okay. And it was introduced in Windows 95. Pretty old technology. Now, where is this technology present? Okay. If I open my virtual machine, If I come to start, or if I go to, if I go here and if I click on services. dot msc. Microsoft gave this Windows installer service, which I'm going to show you. Okay, about 25 years back. Let me switch it on. It's, it's coming up. Give me a minute. Now I have something called as Windows Installer Service here. 
Now, this service is responsible for you to install your application and uninstall them. So what is it? It adds, modifies, and removes applications provided as a Windows installer package. If this service is disabled, any service that explicitly depend on it will fail to start. Now, if I go ahead and if I look on the path of the executable, service name is MSI server. If I look at the path of the executable, this is a program. The reason today you are sitting here or reason today there is an end user computing uh, ecosystem or end user computing uh, jobs is because of this small program called MSI EXEC dot EXEC. Now what we will do is we're going to use this particular program to achieve our results. What are results? To install an application silently, to uninstall an application silently, and while installing whatever changes we make to the operating system, the same changes has to be undone. Now, everybody understood about the Windows installer? Okay. Now, in case if this particular service is stopped or disabled or not working, your MSI will not get installed. Okay. This is all you have to know about Windows installer. Now, I'm talking about Windows installer. So, what is it? It is a service in your Windows OS. Next. What is this MSI? Why is it so big you know, uh, noise around MSI? MSI is nothing. MSI is a short form for the Microsoft installer. Now what happens is any application that you would like to install will be either in exe format okay will be in exe format or msi format now our idea is our idea is even if the mesh, even if the app is given in even if your source is given in exe format we have to convert to MSI format. This is one of the ideas. Or this is first one. Second is, if the source has, source is EXE format, but has MSI inside it, then we need to extract that MSI. Okay. And use that for and develop that extracted MSI. Okay. Mm -hmm.